Hello, happy Friday. Happy end of the week for all of y'all who have uh, like jobs that are like a nine to five kind of thing. I know it's not for the situation for everyone, but if it is rolling into your weekend, happy weekend. Just give me a minute. I actually, literally as I was starting stream, I remembered that like, oh yeah, uh, I don't remember if I pay my water bill this month. <laughs> so I need to set a reminder for after stream to check that out. Because I am not going to remember. I'm waiting for three hours. I think I did pay it, but I don't remember. I did ask my housemates uh, in Venmo for their share of it, so that's why I'm remembering, because I was like, oh, I don't remember if this housemate has paid me yet. And the further question popped in mind as well, have have I paid it yet? Because, you know, water's important to have. It's good, to, you know, to have in order to to wash the dishes and have the water and wash your clothes and wash yourself. Very critical. Anyway, anyway, happy Friday, y'all. Thanks, y'all, for coming in. Uh, looks like last since last stream, Kira followed. Thank you, Kira. I, I've been very happy. I've, I've found your stream recently, Kira, and I've been enjoying it immensely. So thank you so much for the follow. Uh, I hope you have a great weekend, and I hope to catch your stream on Sunday as well. I think you said you were streaming this weekend on Sunday. I can't remember if you said you were or you thought you might, but uh, before we actually get into things, I just wanted to do one last reminder, because today is the last day for anyone who is interested in purchasing the charity bundle on itch.io for a bunch of fantastic tabletop rpgs you can check down in my about section for more details and the link uh there is a charity bundle going on for trans rights like charities within florida because there's all sorts of nonsense bullarchy going on right now uh and this is the io bundle has been going on for about a month now I can't remember if they have reached 300,000 or if they're just close, but they have smashed a bunch of goals and it's a fantastic cause. I highly recommend y'all check it out. I think there's probably around five hours left in it, so you have a little bit more time today to think about it, but it's only $5. Uh, at, I think at the minimum it's $5 to get a whole bunch of tabletop RPGs. And if you spend at least $10 and you are willing to send the receipt, like a picture of the receipt into some forms in the actual, like, like listed further in the description on the itch.io page, you can get some really cool free stuff from companies like Chaosium, who put together uh, the Call of Cthulhu game, which is another tabletop RPG. And it's just a bunch of cool stuff, and you're helping support a really great cause. And the world's scary right now, and it's great to see a bunch of people get together in order to help one another. It's just great. But I think that's about it. Uh, also, good Friday to all y'all who celebrate Good Friday, and happy Passover to y'all who celebrate Passover. I uh, wanted to, before I forgot that, I actually got off of... I have, like, the day off of work today, but because of the everything that is weird with my job right now, it was kind of like a normal day, but I actually did more today at work than I normally, <laughs> that I've been doing this whole past week, just because I'm in between projects right now, but technically, I had the day off, I had to send some emails uh, to folks, because there's a weird issue happening with my work laptop right now. It's not resolved. No one got back to me today, so that's unfortunate. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but, yeah, I'm, I'm a little sleepy today. I don't know how long I will stream. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I stream at least a little bit. It's a bit of a quieter day today, viewer-wise, but that's okay. I feel like that's been how Fridays have been going. I honestly might switch the stream to Thursday... If it seems like Fridays just are not working out for folks. I did a poll on Twitter. 
asking about like, hey, would people be more interested in Friday or Tuesday? It looks like Friday overall was what it's voted for, and then so far I'm just not quite seeing much, but that's okay. Friday evenings are probably more bet more better. That's great grammar. Probably better for folks who are wanting to go out and whatnot, so I might bump this up to a Thursday stream if that seems like it might be a better idea. But for now, we've got some Pokemon in. I'm gonna pop over here. Let me turn this on. Let's see here. Do I remember how this works? I remember last time when I ended, I wasn't gonna I wasn't sure if the saves were all gonna work. And from what I tested after last time, everything seemed fine. So we're just gonna see if that's the case still. Press start. Continue. I think we're good. That playtime looks right. Do I have... Okay, I'm recording. Good. I've been getting better since the past couple of streams on recording. All right, let me move everything around. My cat is behaving right now, which is great. She's just chilling up top on her little tree. Oh, her eyes are closing. Oh, she's falling asleep. Oh, my little princess. Oh, her eyes are opening back up. Okay. She's just getting a little sleepy, hopefully. Okay, so this is how we move around. What is... It seems like we do not have sp the Spinda yet. That is how we... What the heck was B? This is B? Okay. I'm rem trying to remember my controls because it's been a few weeks since I have played. And let's see, we don't have time to wander off. We have to do the guild's work now. Uh, but do spinning the guild. Okay, so it, it went back here. So it didn't seem like it saved at the mountain itself, which is, you know, probably good. Uh, we just have to get back in. We have to find Badoof. He'll tell us about the the criminals in the world. Badoof? Are folks all set and ready for some exploring? Yeah, I think we're good. I don't remember what I have on me, but I don't imagine it's much. Uh, yes sirree, reckon you all are ready. Let's pick ourselves a lawbreaker for you to find. And now we're going to have the little cutscene again because I couldn't save in between. Well, you've got your pick of this sorry bunch of characters. Let's see, who should we pick? Ahem. As your mentor, how about I do the choosing? To pick one that looks scary. Yes, sir, I hear ya. Let's see, eeny meeny. And we're gonna have some updates happening. Stand clear, updating lists. What was that? What's happening? Uh, the data is getting updated. It's being updated. Is not a bit strange. Yikes, you see that? The panel flipped over. What's going on here? Uh, the outlaw notice board and job bulletin board are all set up on revolving panels. Actually, I forgot. Uh, it's a bit quiet today, but I don't know for those of you who are here currently, if you were here last time. So a quick recap on what's happened so far because I've only played this once on stream. The premise of this game is you are a human being who has gotten isekai'd, which essentially means you've been transported from another world somewhere else uh, and landed here in this world of Pokemon and have somehow transformed into a Pokemon. And all you remember is that you were once human and what your name was. You don't remember anything else before you don't know where you're from you don't know how you got here that's it and you've been recruited by a totodile named chad to become a part of a guild you're wanting to go around find a mis find discover and solve mysteries get some treasure wanting to do some good in the world and we have joined this guild uh and that's about it. We've So far, we have just been shown around the guild, met some folks, and now we are learning about the Outlaw Notice Board because we're wanting to do a quest that involves dealing with a criminal. And when we wrapped up last time, we ran into the... I believe they were referred to as the Meryl Twins. There was a Meryl and an Ozermal, which is the little baby version of the Meryl. It's a, a water mouse, very round. 
and they are looking for a missing item for their mom who's sick. And a drowsy came by and said, hey, I think I saw this thing up on the mountain. I can take you guys there. Our character got really bad vibes, started seeing some visions that implied that the drowsy was going to be evil. And now we're now we are off to go learn about some criminals who are definitely not going to be the drowsy that we ran into. But that's pretty much where we left off, and now we are here. Uh, while the panel has slipped over, a Pokemon named Dugtrio swaps up the old jobs with new ones. Dugtrio? Here comes Dugtrio. Updating data is Dugtrio's duty. He tunnels his way to our guild. Then he flips the panel and updates the data. The studio doesn't get noticed much, but it's very important. Yep, yep. Let me see how this the sound looks on my end. It looks quiet. Let me bring this up. Okay, I think that's better. It's hitting about negative 40. Let me know if the sound is too quiet or too loud. It's a very easy adjustment on my end to fix that problem. But I think we're good. I think it was a little quiet before, but that should be fine now. Oh, is that it? Is that so? I can read. Update completed. Stand clear. My glasses are a little gross. Let me see if I can find a little cloth to fix everything up right now. Update completed. Stand clear. Oh, looks like he's done. Ugh, these glasses are gross right now. I'm so bad at remembering to clean my glasses. I'll go for ages without cleaning them. And so when I do clean them, it's like... <laughs> It's like I'm seeing for the first time. Whee! Hi, Kira. Hello. Welcome to the stream, Mystery Dungeon. Cute, cute. I'm. I have. I've been wanting to replay this game for a while, and I like when I started streaming. I was like, ah, yes, I can finally play this game, and I can make people look at it. <laughs> Hello. Happy Friday. Uh, looks like he's done. Thank you for the follow earlier. I saw that when I popped on the stream uh, just before, and I was very excited to see the follow. Uh, yes, sirree, the data is updated. The list of outlaws has been refreshed, so let's pick one. Oh, Chad, you look mad. Why are you mad, Chad? Huh? What's ailing you? Why are you all? Why are you shivering all of a sudden? Do we, do we see the drowsy Chad? The drowsy that you said was probably a good guy? Is that who we're seeing up there? It's not cold here, after all. Well, Totodile, that's a cold-blooded creature, so maybe it's a little chillier for him. So take, take a look at this, Sima. What is it that you see? Up top, on the left. <gasps> who could have expected this? The person I previously said was totally sus. <laughs> He's drowsy. He, he's a wanted criminal. We have to get moving. Azurel will be in serious trouble. Yeah, no shit. I've <laughs> been literally saying this. <laughs> and Jen, you have not listened. Now what's going on? Where are you all off to? Uh, let me know how the volume is, by the way. I think, I've, I think it's good now, but I'm not 100% sure. But... I can tweak that real quick if it's a little loud or a little quiet. <gasps> There's Meryl! Meryl, what's wrong? Where's Azurel and Drowsy? Yeah, about them. After we all left, we went looking for our lost item together. But I wound up all alone when Mr. Drowsy went somewhere with Azurel. Volume comes good to my end with headphones. Great. Awesome. I called and called, but they didn't come back. I got scared. So which way did they go? That that way. Let's go on an adventure. You're sure Drowsy and Azrael went in this direction? Yeah. Oh, Sema, the Drowsy and Azrael you saw in your dream. You said you saw them in a mountainous place, right? That's right. I think the two of them are up ahead here. Let's roll, Sema, quick. Mount Bristol. 
I kept wanting to call it Mount Coronet, which I know is not the case, but I couldn't remember it. Uh, how do I do these things? It's... Uh, there we go. Uh, I can deal with the spider. What are my moves? Tackle and learn quick attack. Okay. That's not bad. Oh no, I've been stabbed. Let's go. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Thanks, Jad. Level 8. Learned Rage. What in the world does that do? And there's something in this room. Money! Uh, Geodude. Hey, Chad, can you deal with this? Because I cannot. Uh, go up here. I think I have a rock I can use. Geopebble, let's go. Oh. It doesn't like angles. Tackle. Why didn't you use that before, Chad? You are a rock. You're not a rock. You're a water Pokemon. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta get good, Chad. Oh, it's so awkward to move on this keyboard. And we have. We do quick attack. Oh, that was awkward. Tackle. Damn. Oh, good. Good, good. Let's get out of here. I think I remember this being a 10 floor. Ooh, we're gonna move. Just don't use a rock move on me and we'll all be good. No, 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 no. Let's get out of here. We don't need to... We need to bother with this chat. We can go. And... I'm, I'm nervous about this particular dungeon, because it feels like a place there, that there will be a lot of... Actually, no. I don't know why I'm worried. Wait. I know I'm worried. There's a lot of gra It feels like there's going to be a lot of ground Pokemon in this dungeon. And that's not great when you are an electric type. I'm going to use my Geopebble. Great. I guess I'm first. Sweet. You got the you gotta hear with the big moves, Chad. Starly, we'll have to fight this eventually. Uh, moves. Tackle. Ooh, I really am hoping the spend uh shop opens up eventually. What is this? Cherry Berry heals Paralysis. Open the menu. Oh, can I give this to somebody and have it be useful? Forget if Shadow you're holding anything. Can you give Shadow you holding something. You are holding something. Never mind. Sleep Seed. I think we're good for now. I'll start doing inventory management when it seems actually appropriate, but I think we're good for now. I mean, we've just entered this dungeon and that's quick attack and just pray I guess I, I oh that's not great do I have a cherry berry I just think attacking and done with this I'll deal with the poison in a moment okay cherry berry items he'll see this a status problem it is, but are we just the Geodude behind this? It's a bigger. Oh, it's not a stack problem. Well, that's good to know. Before I wasted more stuff. And I do have a peach berry. Great. Nope. Eat. I need to eat this. Thank goodness. I remember when I used to play this when I was younger, I never used those stat things because it just, it never really felt like a problem. Because obviously when you're a child, 
when you're playing Pokemon, you just have moves that do damage because the, the best status change is the one when you bring down the enemy's health lower. And I can't say that my strategy has changed all that much between childhood and now, but I'm more aware of how devastating they can be. So I feel like I've improved at least a bit. But again, the best moves are the ones that hurt the enemy. Uh, please don't poison point me. Wait. It's just annoying. It's just annoying to have to deal with poison point. Because it... I forget. No, poison doesn't bring down your attack. I think that's burn. Four different fire attacks on my Charizard is still the way. <laughs> You're right. When I, when I previously played Sky, I, for some reason, and I don't even know why the game let this happen, you could give, like, Focus Punch to Pikachu, and of course you can link moves. So what I would do is I would link a move up with Focus Punch, and it would just be the move that just annihilated <laughs> whatever it is you were up against. And it was a brutal combination. It wasn't super, like, th it wasn't the smartest combination since, you know, fighting on an electric type is probably not the most useful thing in the world. But it was really fun to have that combo just set up and just, just decimate. Don't, don't poison sting me. That's just not kind. We need to approach these dungeons with kindness in mind. I feel like that's what we need to do. Can I do something else? I don't want to get poisoned again. Uh, items. I'm just gonna do it. I'll just hope that does something. Great. Okay. Um, can you deal with this, Chad? I don't want to fight. Oh, that went down much faster than I expected. Don't do well. Leave me alone, little bird. I'm lost. Oh, god. There's, a, there's more things. Ugh. I'd rather deal with it than you. Um, mer. Don't leave it. Uh, that was awful. I, that was the worst thing I could have done. Uh, moves, tackle, kill. I beg of you. I, I'm. I don't remember what mud sport does, but it's not hurting me. Please just don't use a, a ground move on me. Just, yeah, just tackle. I love that. It's my favorite move for you to do. I leveled up! Hooray! HP went up, all this stuff went up. All these numbers. I just need to click through all of them. Don't, don't stand me. And Chad grew up. I'm so proud of you, Chad. You're getting so strong. We're gonna take on the world. You and me. This Mud sport effect faded. I still don't know what it does. I imagine it's something that dampens electric moves, because I feel like that would make sense. If that's actually the case, I have no memory. So this is either... Is it worth it to get cornered? Let's just run for a bit. Uh... This is either an 8th floor dungeon or a 10th floor dungeon. <gasps> the thorns! Stick! I love the sticks. Why did you so peck on him? That's mean. The thorns are so nice. It's awkward if someone's like just on the wrong uh, angle, but you know. I think we're good. How's your health, Chad? I think. I'm assuming we refresh if we get to the boss. Okay, no, we're great. <gasps> Orange berry and white gummy. <gasps> I've passed over it. Let's see what we have in our inventory. We could eat something. I don't think we need to, but we could. Does a belly a lot? Can I just oak belly a little? No. Okay. I will eat. I don't think you need to eat. Everything. Why do you have so much more health than me? That is so mean. 
Shad, I think you need to give me just some of your health. Can I swap? No. Okay. That's fine. I'll, I'll work on inventory swapping later when I feel like it. Now, of course, still world 49. Nothing else is in the room. Oh, it's just so sleepy. Just, just, just don't wake up. Great. And what's in all of these corridors? If I'm going to have to search every room to find it. Okay, thank goodness. To the top! Please! M sounds gone. Okay. Thank goodness. Uh-oh, it's a dead end. Excuse me, Mr. Drowsy, where's my lost item? Could you show me where the item is now? Sorry, kiddo. Your lost item? It's not here, that's for sure. Huh? M my big brother. My big brother's following us, right? He's coming soon? Nope, your big brother is not coming. I'll let you in on a little secret. This was all a trick. I deceived you. Take an Mojo Jojo ass. <laughs> Speech. Huh? Who's not dwell on that? There's a little favor I need to ask. See that hole behind you? Well? There's a rumor that there's a trove of thief treasure inside there. But as you can see, I'm too big to squirm my way through that hole. And that's where you come in. Don't worry, just do as I say. Do that, and I'll help you get back out of there. But, but, but... Go on, get going. Go into that hole, and don't forget to bring back the treasure. I want my big brother! Hey, stop that! Sheesh! So that'll take you home when you're done. If you keep being difficult, it's gonna make big trouble for you. <laughs> Help! Stop right there. In the name of love. We won't let you do that. Drowsy, you bully. How, how did you find this place? God, we're team out of blue. An exploration team. No criminal can escape us. An exploration team? You came to apprehend? Huh? Are you trembling? Really? <laughs> I figured it out. You say you're an exploration team, but you're total rookies. <laughs> huh. <laughs> That's right. I'm a wanted Pokemon with a bounty on my head. But can you two do the job? Can you confront this outlaw and bring him to justice? <sighs> yes, we can. Let's go! <laughs> yes, we can. We never lose to a bad guy like you. <laughs> I've been chased by all sorts of exploration teams in my day. But never a sorrier looking bunch than you two. <laughs> this should be a laugh. Let's see if you can take me down. Show me what- Show me what you've got! <laughs> Drowsy sucks, but I kind of forgot that I liked his character. It's very fun. Let's see. Uh, I'll make you come to me. Uh, where is this page? Geopebble, let's go. Great, you have fallen to my trap. Let's do a little bit of a leer to start. What's charge there? I forget. I picked it up and I don't remember what it is. Gives the user a charge status, which boosts the power of electric type moves. Use the next turn, also boosts the special type of move. Does it go away after the next turn? I don't know. Uh, B. I'm gonna leer because I want your defense down. I think that makes this a little bit easier. Also, don't have any electric moves yet, so that's unfortunate. But not the end of the world. Uh, this is not gonna be perfect, I doubt. 
What does Rage do? Your attack rose. That was what I'm doing. Oh god, what is your health at? Um, I, I imagine it's low. Yup! It is low! Oh my goodness. That healed much more than I remember. Great, I love it when you miss. And we're good! Ha ha ha. Oh, he's so mad. Poor, poor nasty man. We came to rescue you. Are you all right? You're not hurt, are you? I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> the way he just flopped over, OMG. <laughs> they have some really great animations in this game. <laughs> just flop. <laughs> awesome. That's a big relief. Your big brother's waiting. Let's get you home. Okay. I'm a little sad we never did learn about that treasure back there, but it's fine. Zzz, I'm Magnazone, the primary officer for this region. Zzz. I'm not going to do that voice the whole time. <laughs> Zzz, thank you. Thanks to you, <laughs> we've been able to arrest the wanted outlaw. Zzz. Zzz, we owe you great thanks for your cooperation. Zzz. Yeah. Zzz, we will send the reward to your guild. Thank you again. Zzz. Zzz, now come with us. Zzz. Uh, bye bye, Buttercup. Azurel! <laughs> Imagine this is like so tired. I would lose my goddamn mind, Kira. <laughs> Meryl! Ah! Meryl! It was so scary! You okay, Azrael? Are you hurt? It was hard enough typing that one sentence. <laughs> you did it for us, though. And that's what's important. Uh, he's fine. The little guy's not hurt at all. Really? That's a relief. Oh, Azrael. Azrael. I'm really glad for you guys. You did all this for us, Chad and Sema. We won't forget what you did for us. Thank you so much. Come on, Zerl. You too. Yes. We dancing in celebration. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you for rescuing me. Really. Really, thank you. Uh, we're learning that it feels good to help others. The Exploration Team Federation has sent a message. Summer's team was rewarded with an enlarged treasure bag. Yes, my sack has increased. You can now carry more items than you could before. Wait. There's one more message. <gasps> what could it be? The special episode... Ep episode? Uh, the special episode, but Beef's Wish has been unlocked. Ooh. I never really did the special missions back in the day. I think I maybe did the Igly, Igly buff one, the little guy one. I might do these on, like, separate streams. I think that'd be kind of fun. To play the special episode, select it from the episode list in the top menu. If you'd like to play the special episode, save your adventure progress and return to the top menu. I think I'll do that at some point. It'll be fun. Get a little backstory in for some of these characters. I've gotten the bounty from Office of Magnazone for the captured outlaw. Well done, you two. Here's your share for the job. It's yours to keep. Team received a $3,000 bounty that was on the head of the captured outlaw. However, <laughs> because 2,700 of that is the guild share, the portion was withheld. As a result, Team Sema received only the remaining 300. Man, this job really makes it clear that, yeah, it's, it's, uh, you're gonna, you're not gonna get a ton of, uh, money. Huh? We only get this much? After all that hard work. <laughs> Just a blank stare. But of course! It's all part of the training. 
We expect just as much effort tomorrow. Hee hee! Bye, chat hot. Thanks for taking our money. You know, it would make me happy if our share was just a little bigger. Take a little sippy of water. Hydrate before you dehydrate. But that's okay. We managed to rescue Azero. That's all thanks to you, Sema. Oh, yeah. Because you had that dream, Sema. We knew about Azeril trouble, Azeril's trouble in advance. We did know about it in advance, but you told me it was probably wrong. <laughs> it's true. I can't explain it, but that first shout I heard from Azeril. Help! And that dream I had. You keep being difficult. It's going to be in big trouble for you. Help! Both of those events. I really like the shaman, uh, like, icon. We don't see it much because the player character doesn't really talk much, but it's very cute. Shaman. Shinx. I, I can remember Pokemon names. They took place in the future. Why was I able to see something like that? What was that dream about? <gasps> Hungy time. Whoops, my stomach growled. <laughs> Your stomach growled too, Sema. I guess we must be starving. We were so focused on rescuing Azeril, I didn't notice at all. <laughs> but now I'm even hungrier. Let's go get some dinner, Sema. God, I have not been hungry today. I've had like a couple pieces of French toast with some raspberries, and that was it. That's all I've had today. I feel like once I start eating dinner, I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm starving. <laughs> Just for, I've been forgetting about food today. <gasps> the lightning, the storm. Forget why that's relevant, but I'm assuming it is. Whoa, that lightning's intense. Looks like it's really stormy tonight. Wait a second. You know the night before we met, Summer? It was storming that night. I found you out cold on the beach the day after that stormy night, Summer. Do you remember why you were out cold on the beach? Can you remember anything at all? I wonder. Hmm. There was a storm. But how did I end up unconscious there? I was going for a little swim. Nope. I can't remember a thing. I guess it won't be that easy. But that's alright. Just try remembering a little at a time. We have to get up early again tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Let's get, let's get a little shut eye. I, I, I guess flashing warning right now because of, of the lightning. I love Totodile. <laughs> Sleep. Pose just... Yeah. He's flopped over. Hey, Sema? Are you still awake? I've been thinking about this since it happened. That weird dream you had. Why do you keep saying my name? I'm noticing it more and more that you're like just saying my name over and over. Maybe it has to do with you personally, Sema. Huh? It's just the feeling I get. I sure don't know any other Shinx who dreams about the future. I doubt you know many other Shinx. And I've never heard of a human suddenly turning into a Pokemon either. That's why I think those two events are connected. I just can't shake that feeling. The key to unlocking my memory. Was it in that dream? We needed if that were true. How does it relate to anything else? Oh god, my nose is feeling gross. I need to mute for a second while I snorf it. There we go. Now we're good to go. I have a little mucus today. I don't know what you were like as a human, Sema. But I'm sure you were a good person. I mean, it was because of your dream, Sema, that we were able to catch that bad Pokemon. Bad Pokemon, huh? 
Oh, that reminds me of what Chatot said. That the growing number of bad Pokemon has been caused by time going out of whack. You know, time is getting messed up bit by bit all over the world. No one seems to know why. But everyone believes that the time gears are somehow involved. Huh? Time gears? They say time gears are hidden in secret places around the world. Like in a forest. Uh, I love these splash arts. They're, it's so pretty. Or in a lake in an underground ta cavern. I've heard that there's, there is a hidden altar inside a volcano. At the center of such places is known is what's known as a time gear. Time gears serve a very important function. Each one protects time and keeps time flowing properly in its region. Oh, flashing warning. Is it him? <gasps> there he goes. I wonder who that could be. But what happens if your region loses its time gear? I don't really know the answer to that question. But my guess is that if a time gear is removed from a region, the flow of time in that region will probably stop, too. That's why everyone's making sure- that's why everyone makes sure never to disturb the time gears. Everyone has long been certain that some kind of disaster would strike. So everyone stays away from the time gears and doesn't tamper with them. Even the most hardened criminal Pokemon know to avoid messing with them. Do my eyes deceive me? Could it be? Yes, it is! I finally found it! A time gear! But... This is only the first of many. This game really said, we're gonna make Grovile seem like the coolest Pokemon ever. And then they, they were successful. <laughs> they were successful in that. The next morning...
Have I been muted ever since I, like, sneezed? <laughs> Jesus Christ, have I been- if I have been muted that long- No! I was like, oh, it's so smart. I'll, like, kind of sneeze, uh, and then no one will hear it. It'll be so professional. <laughs> I did not unmute, Jesus Christ. But welcome all of y'all who have recently jumped into the stream or followed. Sid Prism, thank you for the follow, and Flap, if that's how you pronounce your name, or if you have a different name that you prefer to go by, let me know. Uh, oh god, my cat is now trying to mooch snuggles off of me right now. Every Everything's going great. <laughs> thank y'all for hopping into the stream. Very much appreciate it. We are... Technical difficulties. Cat is trying to snuggle, uh, and she has a very particular type of snuggle she enjoys where she forces me to like lay down and it's very convenient when I'm trying to do work but she's just so gosh darn cute we can't be mad at her she's just a baby yes you are you should go baby thank you for the follow flap welcome welcome I hope you're having a great time I hope it's better now that you can hear me <laughs> uh, okay let's try and maneuver around this cat uh. Yes, please, please skulk away, kitty. Okay. Let's go warp seat time. Yeah, this Elite is an enemy. Oh, on Twitch it's Flap, but Kira calls me Flap, Plap, because that's my Discord name, I think. <laughs> Plap is very cute, too. Oh, kitty, what are you doing? My cat has this cute little maneuver where she, like, she likes to loaf right next to my laptop and will just start waiting for me to like not pay attention so she can crawl on top of the laptop because that's what she wants ultimately oh it's in range that's why tackle anything is fine though all right i will call you i'll call you flap then because that's what i'll remember oh god another little leap run run from the little leap get the stuff though Scratch. I was taking a bath. I think I remember, I think with these quests, in theory somewhere in the dungeon there is the item to pick up and I just did not explore, which is my own fault. So we're just gonna avoid this. Oh god, this, this is a comeuppance. This really is why we're here because I was not at all thinking about what I need to do with this dungeon. Why did you go up? Thank you. I'm just gonna tackle this and be done with this. I think floor six is where they need the big apple, but I think I can get away with maybe asking this guy if this is the one that needs the apple. Nope, I need you to stop. Yes, you look at Starly. Deliver the requested item to Starly. Uh, it's not the treasure bag in the door. Okay, we're gonna run away. Sorry, Starly. We kind of screwed you over. Where is the door to leave? We at least know that on the next floor, I, I also won't have anything to deliver, so... Rip. Rip and Skippy. Destined floor. Enemy? Enemy. I, gonna, I need to drive to my folks' place after this. Because uh, they're out of town right now and they need someone to take look at their, their cat for the night. But I'm really in the mood for Thai food right now. And that's not going to be something I'm going to be able to get. Considering the timing of everything. I'll have to get it later. Oh, you running, kitty? Bye, kitty. Hello, Shallows. Moves. I'll get some Thai food on Sunday then. When I will be free of obligation. Hello, Shelder. Have you considered, Shelder, that we forgot to bring your stuff? I'll just double check. Let's make sure this is the other Shelder. Yeah, I don't have the decor orb. Sorry. I don't even remember what the decor orb does. Because one thing with these quests are, if I have to have the item on me at some point, not given to me by the quest. I guess the question would be is, is it even worth exchanging the item I'm handing out over keeping it? 
I don't remember what the decor orb does. I imagine it's like a substitute thing? But I don't recall. Though granted, in my previous playthroughs, I think I rarely use the orbs outside of the, like, escape key one. I'm gonna reach the destined floor. I'm gonna punch this little bug. I just, I don't want to be standing here changing the glows. 19. But yeah, I, I'll be curious to see if I find the orbs more useful now that I'm older and wiser and in theory can play this game more smartly. Uh, again, in theory, but also I'm not going to be able to have my focus punch lightning bolt combination that I previously had, which was insane that they let that happen, but we will see. Those. I just want an electric move at some point. Because this is just, this is sad that I only have normal moves right now. It's really harsh in the vibe. Dang, it's Shellos. There's just so many of them. Yeah. Oh my god, I tackled my client. I feel silly. Shellos! Oh, I, want, I want the stuff you're standing on, actually. There we go. Now we'll talk to you. I did locate the Shellos. Thank you. Thank you. And goodbye. You left the dungeon. I can leave the mission. I'm gonna get out of here. Yes, I do want to leave. You don't need to stick here to the end. And face more... Face more <laughs> embarrassment over my own inadequacy. I completed the mission. Isn't that impressive? I delivered the big apple. Please accept all of this money. And a 15 explorer rake. So this didn't get me an item. No, that's fine. I think it might be fun next time to do a... Uh... I think I'll probably let go of those other quests because I don't know if I really want to find the decoy orbs all that much. Unless I have some in my inventory, I need to check. We should get some sleep too. Let's make tomorrow another good day, Simo. Alright, good night. A little cozy time. Next morning. A banana. It's morning. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. I'd love to. I don't remember if this game was a big grind or not, but I do like that they have options, I guess. One, two, three. Smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon. Time to get up to work. Hooray! Just more guild work today. Let me too. Let me give you a sign up today. Yeah, just more guild work. Sounds great. I think after this day is when you do the, the Diglett stuff. Which I don't recall if that was an ongoing, like, thing. Or if it was a, uh... One time thing. Missing Pokemon. Blast Seed. Uh, only one here. Find a Blast Seed. Save Beloved. Deliver a decoy orb. Shelter needs help. It's too scared to move. It's just a bunch of money. Money and something? Ho oh ho. Find a Blast Seed. Help make you strong. Please find one for me. I'm actually... Let me Google real quick. Actually, no. Screw it. I don't want to do that. <laughs> let me just... Let me just see what is offered here. Um, missing Pokemon. So we're just finding someone. My bodyguard is missing. She must be around here somewhere. Um, that's the job list. I'll probably suspend the other ones. Outlaw notice board. No. There's nothing here. Okay. Well. Makes things easier for me. Uh, how, do I, how do I press B? B, 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 F. I miss having the Nintendo to hold. Double to board. Do I want to be ballsy? Reward is a special band. You know what? Let's do it. Let's, let's take this. And Blast Seed. I bet I have a Blast Seed somewhere. B, 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 The list. Suspend. And this is open. Take the job. I love that they still have this Wonder Mail thing up, as if that still works. 
Good job. Save beloved. We're in love. Please help. Deliver it. Rescue. Find the blast seed. Okay, so I need a blast seed. I need to find a blast seed. Please. So I need to just get one. Okay, that's not hard. And then deliver. Okay, so let's see if I even have a, a, a decoy orb somewhere. Because if I have one before going in, that's great. I don't imagine it's something that I really want, so... I think I could just rename this stream Decoy Orbs Give Me Hell. If I don't have one in my inventory. Um, running is bad. Mama King is gone. Please tell me I have one. Hello? Uh... Let's see here. Oh, I'm full up. Yeah, let's let's put some stuff away. I have a blast seed already. Great. Uh, yeah. I don't need a warp seed, probably. I think we'll be fine. Pink gloomy. I do not need these peachy berries very much. The gloomies need to go away. Store. Yes, thank you. My king is gone. Anything else? And I take some stuff. What will you take out? Actually, let me see if I can make this screen bigger without altering this stream. Nope. Immediately made the stream weird. So let's not do that. None of y'all saw anything. No one saw a darn thing. That is something that I will fix off stream because it's small on my end. And I did not expect it <laughs> to immediately adjust as well. Uh, pink gloomy, I'll hit orb. Yeah, I don't have a single, I don't have a single deep orb, I don't know what it does. Nope, I don't know what to do. That's good. And we're, and we're getting out of here, buddy. So we're finding a blast seed, we're rescuing two folk, and we're finding a decoy, we're delivering a decoy orb. Other than that, no idea. Save and continue. Get out of here. Let's get out of here, boys. Save complete. Let's go. Oh, we're not moving very quickly. We're going to the bluffs once again. Not Bristol. Not Mount Coronet. It's Discount Coronet. I'm gonna lean back on the chair just a wee bit. I'm just gonna relax. Relax and maxin. Uh, and immediately we're running into opposition. Cool. Can you? Great! I love immediately being poisoned. Uh, my, how it moves. There we go. Adjust this down. Chad, can you do something? I swear to God. <laughs> just, just redistribute just a little bit. I'm begging. Chad. Do something that causes damage to the enemy. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus Christ. <sighs> uh, okay, let me find the pizza berry so I don't die. No, not Chad. Uh, this man, <laughs> this man, he tries my patience. Okay, let's go. I should heal as I'm walking, so we're fine. I don't need the orange berry yet. I'll just walk very carefully, so if anybody does walk up to us, I can put Chad in front of them, so he has to deal with it, and not me. Or I can run. Oh, it's Starly. Okay. Uh... <laughs> e. Moves. Look, look at the bird. Thank you. Oh man, he's growled at me. What am I gonna do? I'm not gonna go to the items. That was a nice click. God, good gosh darn it. Thank you for the rocks. <gasps> Level 10. Can I finally learn an electric move? I'm begging. <sighs> just, I just, just one electric move. Just, just anything. I'm, I'm begging. Just something. Warp seed. Proceed. Not 
Bristol. I think floor six is when the mission started, and I think that one was the blast seed one? Because floor nine is where the warp seed is. It's either six or nine is when everything It's either six or five when everything starts. Damn. What am I doing? I'm just gonna move out of the way so that Chad has to deal with stuff. Because I'm gonna be too slow to do anything effective. Well, sorry, Chad. Let me throw some rocks. I'm helpful. I got the rocks. Yeet. I'm gonna find a wonder tile soon. You attack Rose. Why? Why? What does Enrage do? I, I'm guessing Enrage is like if you take damage, you like get a buff to like a stat or something. Stop! As if throwing my pebbles. You spent all that time, Chad, buffing yourself up and buffing him down, and then you didn't do a single point of damage to him. Huh. Poor man. Poor baby boy. I return to normal speed. Hooray. I need to get this peach and berry. And a stun seed. That's fun. There we go. Pick the berry. Picked up my sticks. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I understand their effectiveness so much more as an adult. Because as a child, I was like, I don't know what the tile does. It just changes that little, that little icon to go away. What a fool I was as a youth, as a poor youth. I don't even know if the decoy orbs are even in any of these things. I have a, I'm betting that none of them are even in Mount Bristol or even in the bluff. Uh, I can just do a nice quick attack. Oh, don't run from me. Let me use a stick. There we go. Death. Uh, why did you go down? There we go. Moves. Tackle. Oh no, that's so sad. Die. Uh, does Lear work at range? I'll test in a moment. People. Moves. I don't think it does, but let me try. Nope. Don't don't do a darn thing. Could you stop it? Bonk. Oh no defense pro, what am I gonna do? Aha. Uh -huh. Perish. Do all geo dudes drop geo pebbles or is that just happenstance that, that occurred? Because I feel like Is that like a microaggression? I don't think it is. Uh there's an orb! It's a hurl orb. It's not what we're looking for. But I will take it. I for I think it just flings the Pokemon back? Though I don't remember if it works on boss Pokemon. I always find it weird in games when they give you all these like fun funky items. Like, yeah, you can do this weird stuff to the en to the enemy. Unless it's a boss Pokemon. Unless it's a it's a boss enemy. And I feel like at that point it's like, well, why do you even put it in the game? If I can't do the funny haha -ha thing to the big scary guy, then why did you let me do this in the first place? Oh no no no, we're gonna get cornered by like everything. No, Chad. Let's just get out of here. Don't get cornered. 40! Jesus Christ! Great, I have to protect you since you're not gonna be able to really do anything for a hot second. Does a stick do super effective against a bug? Nope. Uh, let's do... I don't... Geo Pebble! I'm throwing some rocks at you. And then... Quick attack. I really want more... Power points on quick attack, because it's very useful in this game. Since speed is not really a thing you have to think about, having that, like... Distance is quite nice to get a nice a nice chunk at the beginning. I can probably ease up on it though, honestly, because of it's not super hard to heal in this game. 
which is nice. I'm uh, this game would not be playable if you didn't heal as you walked around. It just is a nice quality of life. I've actually been since I've been playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon on stream, I've been vaguely th oh I'm gonna get tackled. No, don't get poisoned. Okay. Um. Do we have a peach -a berry? We do, thank god. I'm not dealing with a friggin' poison status. It's just not, no, we're not dealing with that. We can leave. Okay, that's great. Could I have perhaps left before Chad got hurt? Yes. Oh, crap. Ugh. Rude. I would rather be overly cautious than have Chad die, and then we just fail this mission entirely. Who had money? Did you pick up the money, Chad? You're stealing from me, Chad. I'll be very disappointed. I'll write a strongly worded letter to Wigglytuff. And then he'll kick your ass. Uh, we don't need to make up the poison Pokemon. I reached the destination floor. This is where I pick up the whole thing. So this is... Let's just beat up this guy. Can I... What's the better? This is better. Item. Deal the bowl. And again. Well, that didn't work. Punch. Yep. That was all a part of the plan. Nope. Well, at least we know how to get out of here. Oh, we're gonna get cornered at some point, aren't we? I just want to keep running until we have another peach berry. Because we are, we're just not going to be able You know, you know, this, this was going to happen. I took two damage. Can I kill you quicker? Great. Nope, 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 bad. Everything's bad. Everything's not going great. Uh, yeah, this just went from bad to worse. It 100% it did. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? That was a mistake. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Alright, so we have a limited amount of time to get the heck out of here. I just need to, I just need to leave. Um, This blast seat has got to be somewhere. Please tell me this is it. Yes! No, we still have other stuff to do. Yes, let me explore. I at least know how to get out of here. Chad, you're just gonna have to catch up. Let's go. Uh... Oh, I'm just not healing. Okay, this is doable. I just need to run. This isn't as bad as I remember it being, but this is still not great. I just... No, 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 uh, How do I do this? Does poison keep you... Keep going until you die in this game? I think it does, but... Also... Also, if you leave the floor, it goes away. Uh, what's the right button? Uh, R. There we go. Poison, I think, it like, every status thing, I believe, goes away when you traverse a floor. But yeah, peach berries are necessary to get rid of the poison status. So if I can just get to this next floor, we should be good. Uh, proceed. Thank goodness. I reached the destined floor, so now I have to rescue somebody. Because see there, like, now the poison status is gone. I'm getting my health back. Jesus Christ. Uh, but the orange berries in this game heal, like, a lot more of your health than in normal Pokemon games. So, it, it's a nice balance. Let's do a quick attack on this guy. This decoy orb? Drought orb. Not a decoy orb. Uh, I don't think the decoy orb is even real at this point. 
That's my conspiracy theory. Okay, um, I can do Geopebble, I think. Great, and then a little stick. A little, little stabby with a little stick. Hmm, can I kill you quicker? Nope. Nope. I don't think the baby ones have poison points, so I'm not as worried about them. Well, I know how to leave the, the dungeon, but how do I... How do I find the person that needs help? Decoy Orb is ironically <laughs> a lie told by the government. <laughs> For real. Why did you growl at me? That's so unprofessional. It really is a... Oh, I went up. I went to hit the, a different button. I need to move. Tackle. There we go. Great. Oh! Shelter! Yes, you know bad to rescue Shelter. I'm actually gonna update the the stream name real quick. One second. <laughs> uh, stream info. There we go. Having so much trouble with decor orbs all stream. It's only fitting. Okay. It escaped from the dungeon. Way to go, Shelter. No, we're still going. I do you want to continue exploring? Thank you. So we know how to get out, so let's do that. Because I don't really want to deal with any more stray enemies, like the ones that are approaching. <laughs> I want to run away. I like how there's the info button. It's like, oh yeah, I need information about the floor to leave. Uh, oh, it's right there. Fantastic. I don't need this done scene. Oh, Nidoran. I found the Nidorana. I do want to rescue her. Wait, you just reminded me of that song, OMG. What did I just sing? I completely forgot. <laughs> it escaped. Hooray! I complete the mission. Now I will leave. Oh, I, the runaway song. I was like... <laughs> I don't remember really anything else about that song. I just, I just remember that part whenever I have to escape something. <laughs> eh, I want to leave. Yes, I want to leave. Please. There's many enemies approaching. Hooray! I feel like at this point, anytime I get a mission that says, "Hey, do you want to deliver a decoy orb?" I'm just gonna throw it. I'm just gonna throw it away. Uh, Blast Seed. Thank you for the 200. I also get something else, I think. A silver gummy. That's fun. That'll be very useful in a bit. Team out of blue got the 20, 20 rank. Let's go. And then I rescue this other shelter. Got all the monies. Get $2,000. Man, I wish... I wish I got that much monies. <laughs> for just walking around a place and... Helping someone get home. Snuff snuffle slorp. That is an interesting combo for eating sounds. Uh, let's get some sleep. Let's make tomorrow a good day. Good night. This game really fills me with a sense of, man, I wish I, I wish I lived with a, a buddy who was a friend. Up and at him. It's morning. Chapter four. Gatekeepers. Guys, we finally get to gatekeep. We're finally allowed to. I would like to save my adventure. Thank you. I figured this was the point where the we get to do this mini game. I'm enjoying it a lot. And three smiles go for miles. <laughs> so you already get slipped. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I love to gaslight gatekeep girl boss. It's my favorite thing. Oh, Pokemon, time to get to work. Hooray! See, the start of the game is uh, us. We don't have any memory, so we're actively gaslighting. And we're moving to the gatekeeping. And then the ending of the game will be the girl bossing. Uh, <laughs> we get to a very specific person in this game. 
the real gaslight gatekeep girl boss we will meet eventually in this game. <laughs> uh, there's a. It's funny that this game, all of the characters are Pokemon, and they're not acting as like I'm the only Totodile ever to exist. They just happen to be all around. This game fills you with such a sense of vitriol towards a very specific Pokemon, and it's really funny. <laughs> Uh, hey, you two. Oh, I was loud, dude. I said the voice wrong. Hey, you two. We need your help with something today. <laughs> Diglett, I brought them. Thank you, Loudred. Was Diglett got a bar mitzvah? Uh, you two are doing sentry duty today. Sorry, I'm usually one to do sentry duty. But today, my dad gave me his duty of updating the boards. That's why I can't man my post. Why don't you just get somebody else to do the the the, the job board thing? Sorry, I can't do my job. Someone else told me to do his job. It would be great if someone could take over my sentry duty for today. That's why you're here. Please do a good job for me. Bye. Bye, Diglett. And that's that. Huh? I don't follow at all. Why are we involved? Shut your gap. No more belly aching. Go do your duty. No, we're not going to explain to you how to do it. Just do it. Blah. Ugh, my head hurts. Everyone has that friend who's just a little too loud. You gotta turn that volume a little bit down. What do you expect us to do anyway? Climb down the hole and stand guard. You're on sentry duty. Sentry duty? You heard right. Sentry duty. We can't have suspicious characters coming into the guild. So you're gonna look at their feet. So we station a sentry below the guild entrance to evaluate Pokemon visitors. Oh god, if a Gardevoir visits, that's gonna be unfortunate. When you first came, you had your footprint evaluated, right? We got you on wiki feet right away. My footprint? What do you? Pokemon detected. Po oh, that's not that's not loud. Pokemon detected. Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Soda Dials. So I realized today, because whenever I put up my 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 stream promos on Twitter, or just in general when I post any pictures on Twitter, you do the the alt text, and I've always thought that totodile was spelled t-o-d-a-d-i-l-e -E, like toda dial and i wasn't confident on the spelling so i looked it up i had no idea it was toto dial like the dog toto i just realized that today which goes to show you how like little i've cared about toto dial over the years this game is forcing me to have an appreciation for this little guy outside of just he's a little guy Oh, now I remember. There was that weird hole in front of the gate. I stood on the grafting, and then someone shouted up at me. It was shocking. Okay, so we climbed down this hole. What next? Tutadile is my boy! I'm pretty sure he was my fave from his gen. That was a pretty solid gen. Was it Generation 2? I don't think I have played Generation 2 all that much. I think it's... I have heart gold uh a friend of mine gave it to me years ago when they made the remakes and i have the like instruction book for it the like the the here's how you play the game book i've just some for some reason i've just never picked it up uh Cyndaquil, i think is my favorite from that generation it's there's a bunch of just a bunch of good little guys uh in gen 2 uh what's next the tunnel down there leads to the sentry post. Ooh. Diglett burrows through it and pops, pops, pops up underneath the sentry post. How are we supposed to get there then? We can't burrow. I'm hoping we just climb the vine. 
From the Century Post, Diglett inspects the footprints of visitors, identifies them, then informs me. So the cute little system they got. The Nidus sign of the Pokemon is suspicious or not, and open the gate if he passes muster. This is just like... <laughs> this is just straight up profiling. <laughs> but with feet. <laughs> oh, fucking things. <laughs> this is feet based profiling. Ah, Pokemon. Cinequa was a very close second for me. I love that little guy. They're just so shaped. They're just such shaped little guys, and they're very delightful. I like the the sprite back animation of what's the final evolution of Totodile? It's like Fer Fergagator. I like the back animation from it because it kind of looks like it has a butt. Uh, shapes is a very good way to put it. They're just good. They're just good shapes. They're got the good construction for alligator oh for alligator gotcha okay i like i knew the f was there and it was some combination of like gator but the middle part was just a blur to me uh but back to foot-based profiling there goes badoof so we serve as the guild's gatekeepers that's the gist of it look all you have to do is inspect the footprints of visitors then tell me what pokemon they are all right, understood. Yeah, that sounds to make sense. Good. Now let's get to work. Buckle up and do a good job. We're gonna do. We're gonna look at feet. What? It's pitch black in here, Summer. We're blind. We'll have to feel our way. Well, we should be getting close to the sentry post. Hey. There. He's burping now. I see light! Sema, the end of the tunnel! It's time to gaslight! Gatekeep and girl boss! How's it going? Have you taken possession at the sentry post? Yeah, we're here. Good! Pokemon visitors will step onto the grill above the sentry gate. Post. Huh? Identify them by footprint, then inform me. Got it? Yep, got it. Good! Let's get started. I hope my upstairs neighbors cannot hear me. High score! Okay, so this was a game you could do multiple times. I just forgot. Uh, look at the footprint on top screen. Okay, then identify the Pokemon. You can only get two... You can get only two wrong, okay? Chad will keep an eye on things. Here comes a Pokemon. Check its footprint and tell me what it is. That's... Uh, whose footprint is this? Oh, that's him on top, I think. The footprint is Hitmontops. Herja, come in. Okay, I was right. Thank God. Here goes the second one. Oh, God. Um. I guess Slack Off? Okay, thank God. I was like, Beldum doesn't have feet. Uh, Pokemon. That's a bird. Murkrow. Murkrow's in this game? <gasps> I love the bird. Love a good bird. Oh, I saw him. The the fun team up ahead. This is a squirtle. It looks like a squirtle. It's got little tootsies. Great. We're killing it. It's a Pokemon. What is it? Uh, Torchic sounds right. And that's the bird foot. All right, we just got one more. What's the footprint? Oh, oh boy. Um, Ninjast? It's not really got a foot, but that's the closest thing I can think of. Yes. Perfect score. Ho ho. Chat and Sama. That'll do it. Now get back here. There was only six people that came in today. Very slow day, I guess. You've worked an honest day, you two. Let me review your sentry duty performance. Well, well! Your results were completely perfect! Da, 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 da. We're killing it! My god, we're great! You identified every visitor correctly! <laughs> it's just like, congrats, you did your job! <laughs> Excellent! We did it! Look at you, <laughs> connoisseur of feet! <laughs> Shut the heck up.
<laughs> this game, it's a very cute game, but without the with context, it's just cursed. <laughs> very good at looking at feet. We did it. We get a reward for looking at feet. <laughs> Generously, I might add. You don't have to look at feet again. You all deserve an especially large re What is a large reward? As the reward for a job perfectly done, Summer's team gets $500. Dang. I didn't have a single person, too. In addition, we also received a joy seed. We sent to the storage. And a ginseng. I know you put those in drinks. I just don't remember what they do. But that's not the end of it. My goodness. I got a life seed? It's not a reviver seed, so I don't care, probably. But it went to storage, so it's okay. So many rewards. Can you believe it? Keep up the good work. Yeah! We looked at... It was a hard day looking at feet. Time to eat some food and go to bed. It's like, a. Uh, those folks who don't really work, uh, what's the word, like, neep or something? Uh, <laughs> neat, that was it, a neat. Uh, we should get some sleep, let's make tomorrow another good day. Good night. We did a, we did a hard day's work. <gasps> next morning? What's gonna happen the next morning? Hopefully some plot. Let me save. Thank you. My jaw is sore, and I don't know why. I've not done anything today or in the past few days that I think would warrant a sore jaw. I might be just gritting my teeth, maybe, and not realizing it. I need to relax my jaw a bit more. Hooray! Please give me something interesting to do today. My assignment today is, again, the double. We'll do listings, understood, and I sure can work. Okay, chat tots, thank you. Oh. Uh, we've got a bunch of Poochiana. What's up with you guys? Which I'll show you we cracked down today. Anything on the the Nope, nothing on the envelope board. Okay. Either we don't have a high enough level yet, or they're just not wanting to give us anything. Um, let's see. Anything with the decoy orb? No, thank god. I went exploring, but... Okay, so this guy just needs some help. I can't get out. No, there's only two things there. Find treasure for me? Your life savings. Ooh. Vacuum cut sounds very cool. Let's see. Five. I was knocked out. Please help. Okay. So we're just needing to find some of the leaps. And some Nidoranos. Okay, that is easy enough. I'm not gonna get rid of these because I don't want them. I don't want these. Y'all who need decoy orbs, I think you should just kind of go away. How's everyone's Fridays going, by the way? I hope y'all who do not have work this weekend or having a nice relaxing evening and those of you who do have work this weekend are going to bed at a reasonable hour uh, we should be good okay we don't need to bring anything in because we're just rescuing people was there one more one more was finding the, the gumi okay finding a red gumi on floor eight that shouldn't be too hard I'm gonna clear my inventory though, it's getting a little bit full. And I want to see what I got from getting a perfect score at looking at feet. Uh, hi squad. Oh, what are you guys doing? Right here, right? That's right! Oh, they're also working. I forgot they work with Spinda. I'm assuming after the next plot point, Spinda's gonna open up her shop. Which would be very fun. King is gone. Delivery. Uh, let's see here. What do I need to put away? I don't need you. Nope. Nope. No. No. Uh, Hurls of Pokemon. I don't really know. Nope. Warp Seed. Uh, stick. That look good. That look good. Uh, 
Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Take. Is there like a... Okay, so there is a maximum for storage, but we're currently fine. So Joy Seed raises level by one. So I'm gonna eat that myself. Uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot to... Okay, let's see. Powers up the topmost move. Boost maximum HP. Like forever? Yeah. Yeah, give me. I'm gonna eat that. I was already complaining. I was literally complaining about my HP amount earlier. Yeah, thank you. No, I'm good. Not too bad. Nope, not good. We'll do, let me take a look at my inventory. Items. I've got normal rank. I am almost leveled up. Literally, if I completed any of those prior decoy quests, I would have been leveled up. That's so sad. Give to me. Nope, that's not what I meant. Uh, where's the B button? I need to put this on me. Give to me. B. Okay, I guess we gotta wait until we get into the dungeon in order to do that. Which I guess makes sense, but it's a little bit sad. Uh, where's the B button? Duskull, I need to drop off some money. I'm just so rich. Store. All that. Thank you. Nope, that one good. Till our last visit. Tee hee hee. And we'll save by the water fountain. We don't need to save. We're fine. I would like to go to Bristol again. We're going there very often, but that's the best place to just grind in general because it's the highest level. We're gonna get so thick, so powerful, no one will be able to feed us. There's so much money! Holy crap. Actually, here is where I can upload. Eat. Me. So by three. Great. I'd love to see it. And then. And this goes up. Thank goodness. Now we are. Now we are so strong. So powerful. Wait a minute. Did I do a dumb thing? Let me check. Just me in general. Um. F. Team. What's the. Till next level. B. How do I get to Chad? <sighs> I I did a dumb thing. I should have waited until I leveled up next, because I was a Is it worth No, it's not worth. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna live with my my stupidity. <laughs> Literally the one time I did not save before going into a dungeon. I was like, I don't need to save. Well, you know what? Today's... Today's losses are, uh... Tomorrow's rewards or some shit. I don't know. I made a, I made a dumb move, and now I am reaping the, uh... I'm reaping the consequences of it. And it's okay. We are... We are perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm gonna be so mad about that for the rest of the night. I can feel it. I'm just gonna focus on what it is we need to do, which is to save some lovely people so we get all of Okay, the stick fell down. That's not great. That means you're gonna shoot it back at me, aren't you? And we're gonna quick attack you so you don't have a chance to throw your stick at me. There we go. And put it back in its rightful place. Oh, now you're doing the dumb shit. Well, I'm gonna do it back. Yeah, that's right. You better run. I want whatever this is. Max elixir. That'll be great for later dungeons. How do I run quickly? We're just chasing after this this do duo on accident. And this poor thing's like no. Don't kill me! And we're just like, yeah, huh? Dungeon go burr. Life scene? <gasps> yes! It's time to be super cool. Uh, we're gonna look over at you. 
and kill you. Moves. Kill. Oh. I'm surprised Chad hasn't leveled up yet. I feel like he should have by now. Poor little guy. Got some blast seed. I need to use those up more. I keep saving them. And at some point they're gonna stop being useful. Because they only do like what, 20 damage? They're great to fling at a great distance, but they're not necessarily They're not graceful long term, but they're great to like send a message. Uh if you're just like wanting to just really like tell someone from a, a great distance that hey fuck you in particular <gasps> berries my berries I can't wait for us to finally walk into a situation where a cherry berry would be useful there are so many orbs if one of those orbs is a goddamn decoy orb I swear to god can I not use tackle so far run level four Backing up. Okay, you're just up here using quick attack and just being kind of rude. And I don't appreciate that. Get him. Chad leveled up! Woohoo! Let's go, buddy. Wow! Leveled up! Hmm, mm, sleepy. I should, I should grab some coffee on my way over to my folks' place or something. This is sleepy. I'm a little sad the cat has not come from our cuddles. As inconvenient as it can be, she's also warm. And I'm a little cold right now, because it's... It's cold for some reason. Drought orb? We're good! None of them was a decoy orb. The... The conspiracy theory that decoy orbs are a government lie is still good. I keep thinking shift is gonna be the run button, and it's just not. Let's... Nope. Buh, buh, buh. Where's the B button? There we go. Kill. The hell did you do? Scratch them. Those are 30 damage. I'm just going up because it's so slow. Okay, thank goodness we got the door. I went literally the wrong way. I reached a destined floor, which is... I think this is a rescuing floor? Yes, we found the leap. I'm gonna rescue you. Goodbye, the leap. And do, do visit again soon. Uh, no, I'm, I'm still going. Do you want to do some exploring? I don't want to get beat up by whatever this thing is. This is bug. Goodbye, bug. Nope. You don't get to kill my friend. I only I get to kill my friend. That is the law. Oh crap. Um look at that. Uh what's more better here? I think the stick is minimizing how much contact I'm making. Uh tackle. Okay, we're gonna have to be careful. Doing it again. What are we doing on this floor? We're just trying to escape. Not the worst thing in the world. Excellent. This is good. This is good. I reached the destined floor. I think this is a Nidor Rano. So one of the Nidor Ranos on this floor, I think, is going to be the one to rescue. Hello. I did find you. I'd like to rescue you, please. Thank you. I'll see you at the guild with your reward when you return. Great! I completed a mission. No, I'm still wanting to go. Get this Goomy. A grass Goomy. I feel like off stream, I'm gonna like look into what. Oh, okay. That was good. I'm gonna look into. Could you stop? please uh what like the goomies do because i really want to like go
go ham with Spenda's shop once it opens up. And I remember that they gave some pretty good buffs. And that was even with me walking in with like no real understanding of how to really play effectively. And so I wonder how I will do smart. Because I've beaten the main... I've beaten Sky before. I've never beaten its post-game, though. Uh, I got stuck in... I forgot, like, whose chamber it was. I think it was maybe... Maybe it was Palkia's? I, I was stuck in a boss fight, and I think it might have been... It was somebody. I don't remember who, but... Um... I was just stuck, and I couldn't... I might have been Dark... That was probably Darkrai. The, the thing is, is I know Palkia was involved, and Darkrai was involved. But I don't remember in what capacity for either one. So... I, I don't remember. I, I got stuck in post-game, and I could not proceed, and I just kind of gave up with that game, because I... Where is... Where is the person I'm rescuing? I rescued them already. <laughs> it's like, I was supposed to rescue somebody. Where'd they go? I already did it. My memory is stellar. And proceed, please. Thank you very much. Another destined floor. It's another leap we're gonna rescue. While I get more money. We're just gonna move around this shop. It's always scary when you're walking around a sleeping person. I guess he woke up already. Never mind. But when you're walking around a sleeping person, there's always the risk that your buddy is gonna turn around and say, I think I need to attack this guy. Oh, always bad timing, but okay. Not the worst thing in the world. Let's see here. Items, no pebbles. Really? But yeah, it's, uh, it's not great when you're like, I'm gonna walk around the sleeping enemy so we don't have to deal with it, and your partner is like, ah, yes, for the team, and then attacks them, and so now you have to deal with them because they're awake now. Uh, no, dang it, not in the room. Uh, okay, let's find this little leap. Where are you at, you weird little thing? One the... Wait a minute, hold on. There's like some weird instrument sounds upstairs. Why are you in a corridor? Like it sounds like like very very gentle tubas upstairs. I'm assuming it's not them playing an instrument. I'm assuming it's a recording. Looks very strange. I'm not leaving this dungeon. I would like to continue. I have a gloomy to find. Uh, okay. I'm almost free of this guy. I'm almost free of these people. I have to imagine this is the last, like, grinding session before. Uh, just, uh, just some sort of plot. I beg. I kind of forgot how quickly these dungeons can go. So I was expecting the whole Mount Bristol original situation to take much longer. So I was very surprised when we immediately suplexed uh, the drowsy. As this is not the most exciting of content, but at least we got to see the foot game. Uh, as everyone was excited for, I'm not sure, I'm quite positive of. I reached the destined floor, let's find the gloomy and get out of here! And we got two Starly. Um, let's just kill them all. The birds! We must kill the birds. Really, you missed. I just gonna... Oh. Can you hit an attack? Like once. Just once, I would appreciate if you just hit an attack. Thank you. How's your health doing, Chad? Chad? Chad! I swear to God, what is your health at? 
<sighs> I'll let you kill it because I'm getting hungry. I swear to God, Chad. It's like, oh, let me just do all this stuff. I'm gonna disable... <laughs> I'm gonna disable one of these moves on you. Oh my god, Chad. I'm disabling. You don't get Leer anymore because you're misusing it. I'm gonna get to it. Team. Chad. Moves. Congrats. How do we turn this off? Uh... There we go. Okay. NPCs who misuse their moves get them turned off. <laughs> Let me just leer five times in a row. This would be great. Buddy, they max out at a point. You gotta stop. Uh, again, just... I need it. I'm just gonna eat an apple. I don't think we're apple, yeah? Yeah, great. Simon. Thank you. Jesus Christ. That was insane. We don't need this behavior from you, Chad. We can do better. Well, there's the door. <gasps> there it is. I found the Gumi. We're good. Yes, we're leaving. Yes. We've done it! Oh, thank God. That was... God, that was painful. I rescued you. Here's $200. Thank you. Did anyone give me a cool item today? Oh, the, the one with the Gumi. I think that one gives an item. Show my thanks. I want you to have my max elixir. Aw, oh, well, thank you. And 200. I leveled up! Hooray! Uh, we went up a rank. Normal to bronze. The number of items to kept my storage increases. And the rank of the... T the I got a citrus berry. I think that cures confusion? But it doesn't last very long, so it's not the most useful thing. Thanks for rescuing me. Please accept this $2,000. 200 just to me. Any heal seed. That's not bad. It's not the most useful thing, but it's not bad. And a Regumi vacuum cut. That sounds nasty. I need to see what that does. And my vile seed. The hell does that do? And a white gummy. Great. Well, thank you. A good, a nice hard day's work in the field. We love to see it. Look at us munching. Look at these little guys. We're just munching and having some dinner. We should get some sleep. I'm gonna see. If the next day has like a plot thing, then we'll, we'll go a little bit further. But if it's just another friggin' Okay, chapter five, the first official exploration. Okay, we'll go a little bit longer. Up and at them, it's morning. I think from now on, if I end stream and it seems like we're gonna just have like another grind session, then I think I'll just do this off stream because it's not the super most interesting thing in the world. And sometimes they just take a while. Save and continue, please, I beg of thee. Save complete. And let's just run, because this is taking a bit. Uh, ahem. Everyone listen up. I have an important announcement to make. Far to the northeast, then farther into its out outermost reaches, there lies a place named Trishoud Forest. In Trishoud Forest, time has apparently stopped. <gasps> huh? What? My god. Eek! What did you say? You're saying time stopped? Hey, 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 hey. Yes, that's correct. Why is my cap locks on? That's correct. Time has come to a standstill in Trishad Forest. The wind has stopped. The clouds are motionless. Dewdrops on leaves won't fall. They just hang there, suspended. In Trishad Forest, time itself is truly stopped. It's, time has stopped? But... How could something 
this awful happen? It's unthinkable. Yes, the unthinkable has happened. Huh? Why has time stopped in Trishad Forest? Well, it's because Trishad's forest time gear was stolen. Huh? The time gear was stolen. That's what made time stop. Hey, hey, hey. I heard it was possible, but now it's really happened. Don't get it, though. I don't get it, though. Why would anyone want to take a time gear? Quiet, everyone. Yelling is not going to make everything better. Officer Magnazone has already started an investigation. It's hard to believe that anyone would dare steal a time gear. But if one time gear can be stolen, the others may be in danger. The officer started to be notif the officer asked to be notified immediately if we notice any suspicious characters. So keep in mind so keep that in mind. Let us know if you notice anything. That's all. Alright everyone, here's to another busy day of work. Hooray! Oh, you there. You too, come here. <gasps> A special mission? You become quite good at your work. I'm impressed with your capture of Drowsy. That was very admirable. So, you all will finally be assigned to a mission worthy of a proper exploration team. <gasps> really? Wow. Let me see your wonder map. So I'm going to open the wonder map. Treasure Town is here. And over here is where we would like you to investigate. See? There's a waterfall flowing here. By all appearances, it's just an ordinary waterfall. But we received intelligence that the waterfall may conceal a secret. As waterfalls in video games often do. And that's where you come in. We want you lot to investigate the waterfall and determine what's there. That's all. You understand what your mission entails? I do. That makes sense. Good. Alright. I'll leave you all to thoroughly investigate the waterfall. Huh? What, what's wrong? You're shivering. <laughs> uh, are, are you alright? Oh, they're just running around upstairs. Yeah, I'm okay. Just making the anticipations making me nervous. This will be your first real job as an exploration team. And I'm just a little guy. I just feel a little worked up. Yeah, I think I'm just burst from excitement. <laughs> Let's do this rat sim. I'm just getting southern for some reason, and I don't know why. <laughs> Little guys. Okay. I think we're going to wrap up there today, because I don't remember how long this next bit takes. Um, I'm just going to save real quick, because I don't want to have to go all the way. I don't want to have to do that all again. Let's let me see my adventure. Ba -ba -ba. Save complete. All right, let me let me get to the chatting screen real quick. And put it down here. And that was Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for today. I think the majority of today was literally just doing those missions, but it was fun getting back into it. I'm excited to keep going on this game, and I I'm thank you all for who jumped in today. I think everyone who chatted today was a new chatter. Uh, and thank you also for all the follows as well. It, I'm very appreciative. We are... We have 42 followers now, and for some reason, my Twitch isn't counting one of those followers. I don't quite know why. But we are ever so closer to reaching affiliate status. Everyone who was able to stop by today, lurking or chatting, I immensely appreciate all of you. Uh, and it's been super fun. I'm a little bit sleepy today. I'm heavily considering taking a nap, but I'm going to try, try not to after stream because I've got a lot of driving to do. But thank you all for coming by today. I hope you all had a fun time. And we will be streaming again 
Wednesday at 5 p.m. PST, which is also 8 p.m. EST. And we're going to be finishing up the the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, which we started playing on Wednesday. Wasn't able to finish since I had to end stream early, but that game already looks super fun. And I hope y'all can stop by if you're available and want to come hang out. But if not, thanks for hanging out today. And I hope you have a fantastic weekend, a wonderful Easter, and a fantastic Passover. And I'll see you guys again real soon. Bye-bye! Uh, oh, wait. Actually, wait. No. Let me figure someone to raid. Who's available right now? Uh, we have... We have Aries available, who's doing Gardic Phone. That'll be fun. Uh, if y'all are drawers, we're gonna be popping over to Aries. Actually, I don't know if... <gasps> Did Aries debut the new model? <gasps> oh, we must go over there. Alright. We're gonna be reviewing... We're gonna be streaming... What's the right word? Raiding Aries. Uh, so be very kind to Aries, uh, who's currently playing Gardic Phone. Uh, but I'll chat with y'all again real soon. Bye-bye!